Yellow Productions presents a travel guide for visiting the Grand Caverns in Grottoes, Virginia. This is one of the U.S.'s largest show caverns. It's a commercially owned cave that you can take tours of. They offer one-hour tours for about $18. Uh, it makes a great day trip from the Washington, D.C. area. It's about a two-and-a-half-hour drive from there, or 45 minutes from Charlottesville, Virginia. Admission tickets are purchased in the Kellos Lodge. They're about $18 for adults in 2016. Once you buy your ticket, you just go to the right and head up this little walkway up the hill, and then you'll see the two-story building to enter the Grand Caverns. It's a healthy little walk as you make it up to the hill to the Grand Caverns building. As you head up the staircase to the building, you'll be entered into the waiting room slash museum of sorts. In here, they've got exhibits of some of the cave rocks that are inside, and they tell you about the rock formations that you'll see. They also have a side room that has information in general about caves. They tell you about some of the other show caves in the area, and that some of these caves were actually discovered by Thomas Jefferson. The inside of the cave actually used to be used for balls and dances. They've even had weddings take place inside a cave. As you enter the cave, if you didn't bring a jacket, they do have a selection of coats that you could wear because it's a balmy 57 degrees inside the cave. And note, the cave is protected by the federal government and they offer a thousand dollar reward for anybody damaging the cave. Okay, so now I'll show you what the inside of the cave looks like. This is one of the coolest rooms. It's known as the Rainbow Room due to the rainbow colored lighting. This is one of the only areas in the cave where the water collects at noticeable depths. You can see when they turn on a few more lights, there's another pool of water there in front. There are many stories about the cave being haunted. This particular rock formation, some people thought was the ghost of George Washington. It was actually considered good luck if you'd rub your hand along old good George as you passed by. In this next room you'll see a couple formations that this particular cavern is particularly famous for. Where the light is shining is cave coral or cave popcorn, which are rock formations that form when the rock area is completely submerged. And then over here you'll see what looks like a chocolate chip cookie. It's actually known as a shield formation, and the Grand Caverns is one of the caverns that has some of the best shield formations in the world. The cavern has lots of rock formations for the creative rock viewers of the world, and you can see animals, shapes, and different things in them. In this cavern, you'll see, illuminated by the flashlight, a formation of rock that looks a little bit like a horse. After about a half hour on the tour, you'll reach this room, which is the end of the cave. You can tell it's the end because there's actually a big pile of rocks over here because the original owners of the cave didn't want other people to get in from other neighboring caves. So they put this pile of rocks to stop any potential people from uh, digging their way in. From the end of the cave, you basically retrace your steps back to the exit. They do take you through a couple other rooms that you didn't see the first time. And this particular room is the room that was famous for the weddings, uh, the most decorative and one of the most well-lit rooms on the tour. So if your travels bring you to this part of Virginia, check out the Grand Caverns for a neat cavern exploring adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links are in the description below.